Has this ever happened to you? Well, today I'm going to show you how to fix it. So what you're going to need for this is your basic soldering tools as well as a sharp blade or tool to uncover the green mask off the PCB. You can use this method to repair any circuit board. I'm going to be using a Game Boy Advance SP one and this has several problems but I'm only going to go over the reasons why you clicked on this video. First let's go over lifted or ripped off solder pads. I'll start by cleaning the area with some IPA. I suggest trying to use the same pad first if it's only lifted. But for the sake of this example, I will demonstrate when it's ripped entirely off. The pad will need to be traced back and find the next via or pad it comes from and tap into that. If you're having trouble tracing it back, you can always use a multimeter to check for continuity to help you out with that. Next, you will need your sharp tool to scrape off the green mask to expose the copper trace underneath. Clean it up, then add some flux. Remember, when it comes to soldering, flux is your best friend. Now it's time to pre-tin your exposed copper with a little bit of solder. Then prepare your wire. I'll be using 28 gauge bare copper wire, but you can use 30 or even higher. Keep in mind, for longer runs, you will need to use enameled magnetic wire to help prevent any shorts. Cut a small piece of wire, then solder it onto your new tapping point. The original component can be added back on now, since we will have to solder the copper wire to the pin belonging to the pad that was lifted. After you bend, cut, and solder the wire to the pin, you're all done. Last step is to just clean it up with IPA and test it out with a multimeter for continuity for a solid connection. By the way, if you ever worked on IPS screen mods and accidentally rip off a solder pad, like the Q12B one, then this video will help you out a lot. But if you're planning to still use the same board for the IPS mod, then I suggest tapping into somewhere else on the board so you won't damage your repair you just worked on. We can move on now to fixing a broken trace. I will be using my multimeter to confirm there is no connection. Once again, remove the green mask from both ends at the trace where the broken damage is at. Don't forget to add flux, then pre tin the ends with solder. Next, we are going to bridge the gap with some wire, solder it on, and cut off the excess. Retest it for good connection, and you're all done. Now, finally, for broken vias. If you haven't noticed by now, it's a very similar process for all three problems. Broken vias are almost the same as a broken trace. The only difference is that the wire will go through the via hole on the board to the other side. Once more, scrape, flux, solder, cut off X's wire, and then test. So that's how you repair lifted solder pads plus broken vias and traces. I hope this was very helpful for you and if it is make sure to hit that like. Don't forget to subscribe and if you want to see a really cool hack video on how to repair water damage Game Boy Advance SP AGS 101 LCD with the broken DS light screen make sure to check that out up here. Thank you all for watching until next time.